Hi everyone, my name is Kevin. Today I wanna to show you how you can upload a song to YouTube with a photo. It's very easy to do. Uh, let me show you how to do it. All right, well here I am on my desktop and I happen to have a song and I have a photo. The song I have is called English Country Garden. Let's start playing it. It's kind of a nice song, kind of puts you in a good mood. It really has an upbeat sound. When I'm feeling down, I play this, it puts me in a good mood. Okay, and what I want to do then is I also have this photo, uh, English Country Garden. It's a song by Aaron Kenny. It's freely available on YouTube, so if you're ever putting together a video and you want a fun, upbeat song, hey, this is a good one to go with. So here I have the photo. I've created this uh, English Country Garden photo, uh, put the song name and then the composer on there as well. Uh, so what I want to do now is I want to create a video that includes both this photo and this song. How do I do it? Well, on Windows 10, uh, there's an app called the Photos app, and that app will let you do this. This app comes with Windows 10, so if you're a Windows user, you already have this app. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down to search here, and I'm gonna type in Photos, and you'll see that the first match that pops up is the Photos app. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that, and what we wanna do is we wanna create a new video project, so I'm gonna click on New Video, and we'll go to New Video Project, and now this drops me in a canvas. And so what I wanna do is, uh, first I need to name the video. I'm gonna call this the name of the song, English Country, oops, English Country Garden. I got ahead of myself there. And so here I am in a blank canvas. So what do I do? Well, let's add the music in. Uh, so I'm gonna click on Add from this PC. And so I have these files on my desktop. And so here's the English Country Garden uh, PNG. So I'm gonna pull in the image file. Let's bring that in. And what I wanna do as well is I also wanna bring in the background music. So there's an option up here called background music. I'm gonna click on that. Um, there are a whole bunch of kind of preset songs, but we wanna pull our own music in. So I'm gonna click on your music. So imagine you're in a band or something else and you have a song that you wanna upload. Uh, so select the music file. And conveniently, I also have this song on my desktop. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this one. And so that pulled it in. Here too, I could preview the song, uh, but I've already heard it. So I'm gonna click on done. Uh, and that pulls in the song as well. So what I'll do now is I'm gonna pull the photo down to my storyboard, and by default, what'll happen is you'll see that if I play this video, it's only three seconds long. So when I paste a photo in the Photos app, by default, it'll be three seconds. I can right click on it, and there's an option that says duration, and I can set the duration of how long this stays up. Uh, so what I need to do now is I'm gonna pull up the song again, and you'll see that's a minute 37. Uh, so that's 97 seconds. Uh, I had to do the math for a second. Um, so here I'm gonna go down, type in a custom amount. We'll do 97 seconds and change. And voila, look at this. And I'm gonna hit play. Here goes that song again. And you'll see that I have the photo. I've got the music playing. There we go. Oh, I'm in a good mood again. Okay, and what's really cool about it is, so what I wanted to do is show you how to put one photo in, but if you wanna get crazy, you could also put more photos in. So you could add other photos and you could just drag and drop them onto the storyboard. So as the song is playing, you could have different photos show up. And what's also really uh, neat too, so the Photos app has things, uh, you could do motion on the photos. Uh, so if I wanna have the, you know, let's say the photo zoom in, um, here, the, you know, here you can see how the photo slowly zooms in or out. Um, so you can add different motion to your photos. What I can also do is they have 3D effects. Uh, so here, let's see, what type of 3D effects should we add? What would be, ooh, we, I don't know if we want an explosion as part of this English Country Garden song. Uh, but what I could do is perhaps we'll add a glow. Uh, so let's add a glow in here and I'll just have this kind of go throughout the song. And so now here, um, Let's see, I wanna turn off the volume of this effect because I don't want it to interfere with my song. But here now I'm playing and now you see this nice little glow in the English, English Country Garden. Uh, so you can have these cool little effects that play um, as part of your music video. Uh, so I'm gonna keep this, I kinda like the feel of that. It looks kinda nice. It's like these little fireflies almost in my English Country Garden. Um, so if I'm satisfied with that, I'm gonna click on Done. And now I'm ready to go. So I have this zoom effect. I also have my little flash. Uh, and now all I have to do is click on export or share. And uh, you have a few different options. Uh, basically, it, you know, this is how much you wanna compress the file. Uh, let's, if you wanna put it on YouTube, you might as well go with the largest file size. So I'm gonna click on longest upload, uh, best for big screens. Because it's just one photo and a song, uh, the rendering of it, it's gonna go pretty quickly. I added the, the little glow effect, so it'll probably add a little bit of time to the rendering. Uh, but here we go. Um, hopefully you're all creating awesome songs. 
and here it is. So I have the song now by default. It puts it in my uh, pictures folder. Uh, and what I could do is uh, here I could open it in File Explorer. And so here, here you see the video. You could take that, you could upload it to YouTube. Uh, you could email it to people. You could do whatever you want with this video file, but you've got a music video uh, with a photo on there and that's all it takes. Uh, so super simple. I'm gonna go ahead and just start playing this in the background just so I can hear that music again. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, please give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see future videos like this, if you like this type of content, hit that subscribe button. That way you'll get a notification anytime new content like this comes out. And that's it. Hopefully you make some good songs. If you do, leave a comment. I'd love to check out what you create. All right, well, until next time, see you later. Bye.